first game in an Eagles uniform? Uh, I'm definitely excited. You know, uh, this my, is my first game here, so I'm, uh, I got, I'm excited, but you know, I'm not I'm not new to it. So you know, uh, I'm gonna let the game be what it is, and I try not to not never make the game bigger than what it is. And just go out and do my job. What's the uh, message this week from Nick Sirianni to all you guys? Um, the message this week is like dog mentality, but to be honest, I feel like that should be a mentality that each and every day. Uh, I try to pride on that my, for myself, just bringing that dog mentality and just living, living by that each and every day. So. When you look at the talent you have on offense, maybe the best offensive line, what do you think the level you can get to with this offense, what expectations you have? Um, we do have a lot of talent. We, 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 have a, we have a lot of great guys on this offense, and what we can, what we do, what we, what we can do is re, be really special. I'm sorry, uh, but we have to focus on what we have to do and execute. You know, that's what it comes down to. No matter how many players the players you have, you don't execute the game plan, and it's not going. It doesn't matter. Hey Jay, did that uh, always open sign come with you from uh, from Tennessee, or is that that new? Nah, that's this new to Philly. Uh, it's funny, I should have took that down. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool, though. No, I'm, I'm always open, but it's cool, though. You know, I, I kind of forgot you guys were coming in. <laughs> is, that, is that a mentality you think you have to have as a receiver, just feeling like? Oh, most definitely. And even, even when I'm covered, I'm open. Give me a chance. That's my mindset. And good thing Jalen knows my mindset. And, uh, so I'm excited. He's excited. Hey, Jay, who's one guy that you think deserves maybe a little bit more attention than they've gotten so far? Uh, I'll keep it in my room. I'll say Quez Watkins. You know, uh, he does a really good job. Uh, he does a lot of dirty work. He's, he's a speedster, of course, but um, he's a good he's a good football player, and he deserves more credit. Yeah. What kind of emotions do you have in uh, just being a few days out from your first game as a Philadelphia Eagles? Well, like I said before, like it's, uh, I'm definitely excited to play my first game here, uh, but at the end of the day, it's still a game. And, I'm not new to it, you know. I try, like I said, I try not to make any game bigger than what it is, no matter no matter what game it is. You know, it's still a game. I gotta go out and do my job, and you know, I try to leave all the emotions away from it. Just play the game and just have fun. Is it hard to do for you being the first game? Not even just the fact that it's, it's not hard to do. It's, it's I mean, I'm not new to it. Like I said, uh, I have a job. I, I have a responsibility, and I gotta go out and make plays and do what I do. So. At the end of the day, it's a game, and that's how I treat it, too. So, I mean, it's not like, I don't know, <laughs> nothing hard, no hard to do, so, you know what I'm saying? Just trusting each other, um, and, and everybody's taking the coaching, you know, all the guys are taking the coaching, and, you know, the biggest thing is we got a lot of pros, a lot of guys that play a lot of ball, a lot of guys that can adapt um, on the fly, just on the fly, and, you know, take the hard coaching and the criticism, you know, when you're wrong, you're wrong, and, you know, when you're right, you're right, you know, uh, I mean, that's the biggest thing. But, you know, obviously it took count and take everything that we're doing um, to get to this point right now. We're still growing, you know, and the work is not done yet. I just asked Brandon this uh, question. You guys got seemingly a ton of talent in this locker room, but who's the one guy that's been standing out to you before the season begins? Is there one? There's a lot of guys that's been standing out. Uh, I, mean, I look at the second-year player, Marlon. He's had a really great, really, really good camp, you know, from last year taking his taking second step. Because they're white guys that shows up every day. And, you know, I don't really understand, like, how we got so lucky with that guy because he flies around and he makes plays. Um, and, you know, he's you know, he's one of those guys that, you know, we look you know forward to. Um, I look forward to every day hearing his voice behind us, you know, making stuff happen on defense. And, you know, it's just been fun. So I'm excited to watch those guys fly around. Uh, and I think the biggest thing for us is just to stay healthy. To set the identity of this defense in week one. I know you can't do too much in week one, but to set the identity and, and to, to further that, the importance of getting to the quarterback and taking the defense that's going to rattle some quarterbacks. I mean, the biggest thing for us is always, you know, we want we want offenses to play behind the sticks. You know, we get teams playing behind the sticks that give us a chance to, to get out to the quarterback. I think the first thing for us is, you know, go in and and not be too hype. Um, you know, by saying it is, you know, make sure we control our emotions for the first few series. But everybody's going to be ready to fly around and, and, and make plays. But it's going to be who can control the emotions, you know, who can, you know, play consistent, you know, for 50, 60 plays, how many plays it is. Do you feel, in a way, you have something to prove to yourself this year? <laughs> I always felt like that my entire life. You know, I always had something to prove to it. It didn't matter who it was. 
just you know being where I'm from and you know coming from what I came from. You know, I always feel like I got something to prove. But uh, you know, I just go out and stay professional about everything and, and work. You know, work doing training camp, work doing in the meetings. You know, being a leader, being a great teammate is the biggest thing around here um, for me. And you know, just teaching those young guys how to be pros. You know, last year it was 44 to six in their Detroit. It's a message to everybody this week. It's not going to be like that this year. It definitely won't be sweet. You know, nothing, nothing sweet. I mean, I understand that. We all have to understand that. They get paid to play this game too, you know, and uh, you know they're going to come out on fire. You know, I know this. They're going to come out a different team than they were last year. You know, I'm sure they, they got some stuff for us and switching things up. And you know, we're excited about it to going down their outpost game on the road. So. Really good teams play good on the road, you know. But us playing on the road for the first first game of the season, you know, it's a test. You know, if you want to be a good team, you got to play good on the road. You take anything from the hard knocks? Have you been watching that? Brandon said he was. As well? Yeah, no, I watched that. <laughs> Have you ever? No. That's right. You don't watch much football other than. I'm not watching. I'm not spending my Monday night going to training camp at 10 o'clock. To... <laughs> I got practice the next morning. So. Yeah, you know, we haven't seen it yet, but uh, I think it's going to be uh, tough for defenses. You know, uh, Schmidt and AJ are two tremendous uh, football players, both in their own ways. They both bring a lot of different things to the table, but I'm really excited to take the field with them. Um, you know, hopefully they can help me out, get me open, and hopefully I can do the same for them. Uh, really looking forward to going down to Detroit and showing them everything we've been working on. Do you have that interest in this? A lot of interest what this offense can do, you know, going after them on these cracks. you have that sense of interest to see, like, all right, yeah, you know, I think I have a, a pretty good vision of what I believe we're going to be. But, you know, anytime you line up against somebody else, uh, there's a lot of different variables that can go into it. But, uh, you know, I have really high expectations for this offense, for the defense, for the team in general. But, uh, you know, we have to continue to put in the work this week and uh, be ready when uh, Detroit, we step on the field in Detroit. Dallas, when you think back to last season with Jalen and then you kind of fast forward to now, what are the areas specifically that you think he's grown the most in? Um, just like his command in the huddle where, you know, if, he, if he's going to kill a play, everybody knows that he's killing the play. They know what we're going to. Um, they know why we're killing it, all that stuff. Just the way he runs it, you know, him going through his reads. Um, I think this, this second year is a true full starter, and uh, the second year in the offense is going to help him tremendously, and I think he's been doing a great job. Going there last year was 44-6, to six, I believe. Is the message this week it's not going to be that easy? It's not going to be easy like it was last year? Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, it's not the same team that we had last year, and it's not the same team uh, that we're going to go against. Um, but, no, I don't think we're looking too much at what we did against them last year. Um, we know that they're going to have a lot of energy. They're going to be fueled from their last year. So uh, we just got to go out there ready to play and uh, from the jump uh, get after them. How much more open will the field be having AJ outside, Devontae on the outside, yeah, um, you know, I'm excited to see what happens and uh, how Detroit decides to guard us. But no, I mean, anytime you got two of the best pass catchers on the outside like we do, uh, it's got to open it up in the middle of the field. And no, I'm just excited to go in there and work in space and hopefully uh, have some big plays. I don't know how often you've been lined up against Chauncey, but if you have been matched up against him, what have you noticed? Um, you know, I went against him in the past, probably more than I have yet in practice. But uh, you know, I, I love the guy. I love his fire, his passion for the game is uh, is pretty pretty special, pretty fun to be around. Um, I'm, I'm I'm excited he's on our team. I can't wait to hear him uh, talking bad about other teams, talking bad to other teams. It's going to be fun to watch. What is his method? You know, what's his like trash talking style? If you if you can describe it. Oh man, that's tough because I I feel like he's just saying whatever comes to his mind. You know, he's just spitting out there. Uh, you know, he he thinks very highly of himself which is what you need to do in this league and uh, he's going to let you know that and he's going to let you know that you're not good enough and uh, that he's, he's right there when you, when you think you're open he'll tell you you're not and all that stuff but no I'm really glad he's on our team it's funny everybody's been talking about the weapons that Jalen has and the, the danger that I almost feel like people are forgetting about what he can do particularly with his legs it's almost like he got another running back and how much of a weapon can he be whenever he's talking about the weapons he has yeah um, like you said we got a lot of weapons on this team and you know uh, Jalen might be the biggest weapon we have of all you know uh, him extending plays making plays with his feet he's the best in the league at that for sure um, you know and just the way that he can throw the ball run the ball uh, the zone reads that we do, there's just so much a defense has to prepare for that I think, you know, he's a Swiss Army Knife. He's a great guy to have uh, under center. What's been mixed message to you guys this week? Um, you know, we talked a lot about uh, how the first games are 
lost, not won. Um, so, you know, just paying attention to the small details, uh, you know, paying attention to tackling, taking care of the football, things like that, where it's been a long time since we played a full game, tackled, um, you know, just paying attention to the little details when we get tired and uh, just focused on the dog mentality, the next play mentality. And uh, no matter what happens, play before, get out there and, uh, you know, go have a good play the next one. Yeah, probably the biggest thing with the coaching staff is, you know, none of them were new to the game or anything, but anytime you're new coaches in new positions, uh, things come up and you're not sure if you should do A or B when it comes to it and you uh, you do this. And, um, you know, I think they've just, they just, they took a lot from last year and learned a lot. Um, things that we might do this and the defense is going to counter with this. So then we have different ways to combat that. Um, so I think they're just a lot more detailed. They just know what's coming more. They got to see their plays ran. And now we just have more options on ball. Man, it's set up, it's set up for me this year already. Uh, just going back to Detroit, first game of the season, coming off injury, uh, had a great camp. Just excited to go out there and show what we've been working on. You guys seem to have a great who? I mean, y'all already talking about Jalen, because Jalen gonna be out there working. You know what I'm saying? He's been working this whole camp. I'm, I'm loving uh, just, just the competitiveness, you know, that I see with, from him every day, and you know how he handle y'all, the media, on a lot of stuff. I just feel like, um, you know, that's the main guy that, you know, that that's gonna make us go. He already knows. Brandon, did you watch those guys in Hard Knocks at all? And if so, can you like, mean anything from them from watching that show? Oh yeah, we watched. Uh, we watched some stuff, um, and I mean, they gonna show. They gonna make it look good. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> and that's cool because I know every in this league is you can't take nobody for granted. It's any given Sunday for real. So we just gonna make sure we do us. That we worried about us most of the time. It just was entertaining just to see Deuce uh, and the guys uh, that we that was here, uh, just seeing them on camera and, and just knowing that ain't much change, you know, with the attitude. How much, how accurate is that show from what you've seen of it over the years? Uh, it's pretty accurate. Uh, I, I mean, just knowing how some of that, some of that go, you kind of have to repeat certain stuff if you can, uh, they, if they don't catch it uh, right away. As far as like, I remember uh, we did like a reality TV show uh, for one of my uh, guys that we trained with. And they was like, oh, can you do that again? Can you do this again? Because I like that. And uh, so, I mean, hopefully they didn't have to have too many retakes. But uh, I know it's all about uh, putting out great content. Brandon, we're going to head to Sunday. Always, I'm so sorry. No, oh, go, ahead, so, go ahead. Hometown games are always so special. Do you, do you got a fan club coming? Oh, uh, oh yeah! Everybody's already bought their tickets. Um, excited to see see me in action, and uh, it's been a minute. It's been a whole year. A lot of people uh, stopped watching. Uh, well, that's what they said. They stopped watching uh, football because I wasn't out there as much. So, uh, but I'm just excited uh, to be in front of my home hometown uh, to go against those Lions. With it being the first game, can you just talk us through what do you think those emotions are going to be in your head as you get ready to take the field on Sunday? Man, it's still giving me like goosebumps just thinking about it. Uh, just saying, I'm already just imagining me walking out on the field, uh, just hearing the booze and just seeing some people in the crowd, knowing where, where my family's at. Uh, once I know what, what section they're in, just you know, just I'm just gonna soak it all up, man. Because when you really think about it, it's like. Dang, I'm on a one-year deal. Only got a couple months left, so let's let me let me go out with a bang. Let me go out here and give it everything I got. So that's really where I'm what I'm on. Just trying to make sure I do everything uh, for this organization. Mentally, is that really what you're thinking? Like this is this is it? This is your last. No, I'm just saying. Like I'm just I'm just saying. What's in front of me right now is is one one year left on my deal and when you break it down it's only a couple months hopefully it's five months because it's like you know if we go to the super bowl it's five months and you know hopefully do what we got to do but uh um, yeah i'm just i'm just really just that's why i'm trying not to rush the days because man it's just like man time is flying camp is already over we already in the season and you know how fast that goes so i'm just trying to enjoy every day who bought the tickets huh 
They bought their own thing? Oh, they bought their own. I learned my lesson from the first year. <laughs> Trust me, we're trying to save all everything over here. <laughs> DB dinners, or he invites everybody, you know, not just DBs, receivers, the whole line. He, you know, he invites them all to come over through. On the field, he shows it. He's not really vocal, but, you know, he walks the walk of a leader. And, you know, you notice it in his, in his normal life, you know, me just hanging around him outside with his children and his wife and all the people in his family. So, you know, Slay is always a leader, always have been one, and, you know, I'm happy to see the senior chef. What was, uh, could, could you tell how much you meant to him? Oh, yeah, I mean, when he was breaking it down, he like he's about to cry. <laughs> And I think it's his first one, so you know that's exciting for him. And you know, I'm, I'm happy he's a captain. And, you know, as many more years as he play, I hope he gets as many times to be a captain for any team. Thank you. How special is this to be able to go back home two years in a row? Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's special, very special. I mean, first game, and you know, I get to go home and see my family. They get to watch me play. But sometimes they don't get be able to get out here or they watch me on TV. And also, again, I invited my high school team out so they get a chance to come out and, you know, experience the NFL for them as well. So you did for this game coming out? Yeah. Uh, anytime we go back and play home, at home or in Detroit, um, I, I always uh, text Coach Spence and I asked him if anybody wanted to come to the game for our um, high school team. So got 25 of them this time, and then including my family. So. Nice. Hey, when you go back to Detroit after the way you guys beat them last year, do you say it is not going to be like that this year? It's not going to be that easy? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, last year is last year. This is a new year. Um, only thing we can focus on now is this time right now where our feet are in. You know, this new year, like I said, so we're going into it with a whole different mindset of last year and we're going to be out there to be. With all of you guys in the secondary, and you're very versatile, I mean, how much versatility does that give Jonathan Gannon for what he can do? Uh, our guys back there, I mean, like I said, I look at down the line in his locker room and, you know, I look at Evans, I look at CD. And I look at them too, like, oh man, they can play nickel too. They, so it's like guys can move around, the versatile, and the, the speed. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited for this year. It's going to be pretty fun and, you know, see what these guys and what we can do as a collective group and see if we can get. How about uh, the whole defense? We've added at each level of the defense. How has it all come together? It comes very really good. I mean, you, you added so many pieces to the defense and great additions to the defense. And, you know, just being through here, our, in here through a um, training camp and OTAs, and everybody's bonding and gelling. And, you know, just watching these guys that they added in and the guys that's been here that grown and starting to learn it a little bit more. It's definitely looking a lot better and faster. And, you know, like I said, definitely excited to see. So I think that the fact that we have a little bit more record players on the team allow us to be able to do that as far as practice goes. But man, I've been loving it. You know, going into the season, season you know, no aches, no soreness, uh, just ready to get out there and fly around. I feel really good. One of the, this is probably the best I've felt in a long time um, going into a season. So. Thanks. Do you think about the emotions of putting you this green on for the first time on Sunday? I'm excited, man. Like every day that we get closer, I just get it. I'm, I'm more excited. I'm more pumped. I've got more energy. Like I had to control myself and walk through today. Realize I was going a little too fast. Like I went walk through, slow down just a little bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited. I can't wait to get out there. Mm -hmm, no problem. How excited are you for the versatility? What's up, man? That's so. Thanks for doing that interview. Oh, uh, no problem at all. How excited are you for the versatility? Not only with you, but the rest of the defense that Jonathan Gannon has. That is disposable. Man, you, we, we, I'm, I'm super excited. We've worked hard all camp, right? We worked hard. We've been planning the time. It's, it's now time to go out there and do it on the field. Do it when it matters. And I just can't wait to see how we, you know, I can't wait to see how this first game goes and then where we end up at the end of the year. I'm taking it week at the week, at the week but, man, hopefully we can keep everybody healthy. And, 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 and make this push. Uh, we only saw some things in preseason and the joint practices at camp. Is there a lot of other stuff that the fans and the media have not seen with the defense and the mul multiple defenses you had? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we have some stuff that definitely hasn't been seen, you know, especially for fans, media that hasn't been coming out to the practice. We definitely do. Um, you know, mm, still working on some things, but like I said before, it's game time, time to take what we've been doing, get it out there on the field, and execute. Take two more for Hassan. Hassan, I've been asking a couple of guys who maybe deserve a little more attention in the locker room, and they've gotten so far. Anyone stand out to you? 
it's so many guys because we there's so many guys that have actually had had a hell of a camp, man. No lie, man. Um, you know, guys like Isaiah, TJ, Nicole, you know, Jordan Davis, <laughs> like younger uh, Kyron, TJ. There's so many guys that I get to watch every day and just to see like. From the first week to where we where we were at the end of the uh, you know at the end of preseason, just to see how some of these guys have made you know some of them started very well, some of them started down here and we uh, but some of them some of them like Isaiah started off uh, and he's just continued to excel, continue to develop, continue to get better, continue continue to be noticed. You know, so I'm definitely excited to have him. Um, but yeah, man, a, a bunch of guys have had. Great camps and deserve our good. You like the third or fourth person the same time there? Yeah, nah, nah, he balled out. He had a real good. Between him and TJ, you on camp, man, they like two of the guys that I've really noticed flying around, being around the ball, disrupting the ball some way, somehow. Uh, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm just hoping that what we've been seeing in practice transitions on the field because not only will it be good for them, but it's going to be good for the team. So. <laughs>